يده اليمنى على يده اليسرى للصلاة يضع place يضع وضع place so also also you can say language like uh, figuratively like when you say uh, put an example place an example you're not literally putting an example you're just giving an example right you know give an example Okay, so so far, go ahead. Okay. I looked at it, I got ice cream. Okay. Good. So the previous page that we did, we did the numbers, right? Which is place number, right? Like al awwal, right? Al awwal, al thani, right? And and this we can really do the levels, like levels or first place, second place, third place, al awwal first, al thani second, al thalith third, al rabi' fourth, al khamis fifth, al sadis sixth, right? Al sabi' seventh, and it continues. Now, when you say numbers, like number one, number two, number three, wahid, rakam wahid, rakam ithnan, rakam thalatha, rakam arba, rakam khamsa, rakam sitta, okay? So this is place, and then here is, and also number. So this is uh, in, in order. It could be levels as well. Mustawa, level, Mustawa al awwal. Al an, nahnu, nadrus al Mustawa al thani. Al thani, put alif la. Al Mustawa al thani. Al an, nadrus al Mustawa al thani. Okay, so let's go to on page. 123 at Tarakiba Nahawiya. Now, what we look at here, we look at the example here on this side Masjid al Haram, Wal Jumwah, Masjid al Nabawi, Al Fajr, Masjid Bilalim, Dhuhr, Masjid, Masjid Uthman, Al Asr. Okay, so here, إِلَىٰ أَيْنَا تَذْهَبُوا أَذْهَبُوا إِلَىٰ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ لِمَاذَا huh? Okay, here, in this land, put a kasra, so the kasra, you put it under, under both, right, under both, lam alif, but you see the alif has a dhamma, Right, so the kasra belongs to the lam, okay, because the alif, and how do we know which is an alif and which is a lam, right? How do we know that the second one is not a lam? There's a hamza. Let's say there's no hamza. Let's say it's just like this. Let's say it's just like this, right? Now, how do I know? Jade, jade. So the the lamb, the rule of the lamb, just to review, right? From Mustafa Tamhidi, from the introductory course, right? Lamb has a rule that if it's in the middle, it can connect before and after. 
Aleph, right? Aleph, sorry. Aleph, if it's in the middle, it can connect before, like Kitab, but not after. So that's the rule. That's the golden rule. Aleph never connects after. So now here, what's after the Aleph? So you have to put, le, 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 how do you start le, le, with no vowel, right? Le. So the reason is, this is known by default, right? But since we're learning it, they should, they should put the vowel. But sometimes they don't put it because it should be known. That if the lamb connects with the present tense verb, right? Like, usalli, I pray, usalli, here is li usalli, right? To pray, so that I can pray, right? Li usalli, that's why you go into the masjid. What's the reason? So li is connected with the reason. Li usalli, li mada ateita in al masjid. Why did you come to the mosque? To learn the Arabic language. So that's li. So that's the reason. So whenever it is li mada, and you give the reason, li usalli. Li mada ateita bi kurasa. Kurasa, notebook. Why did you bring? Why did you bring a notebook? Right? And also you can say right? Also so that I can right? Okay, so that's that's the rule there. So remember that. So now you have to, you add the verb. So you, you pay attention to the verb, and then you add the word. So here is this. Okay, you add the verb and this word. Okay, so let's let us begin. So raqam wahid wa ithnan. So let me have let's mustaid or not yet. So okay. So it's okay. So I can hear from you. You sure? You sure? Or you lose your turn? You have to go hold it. Yes. The whole. Father. So you're Rabbi Muhammad and Elias is Rabbi Mithna. Le aina tadhabu. Ila aina. Sorry. Ila aina tadhabu. Tadhabu ila al masjid al haram. Li mada? Li usalli jumuah. No, we just did the same one. Oh. Okay. Now, okay, so you did the, sa the, the sample one, right? So let's do Rakam uh, Wahid, Rakam Wahid, Sister Diana, and uh, Sister Vanessa. Uh, number one, Rakam Wahid, Hena. Ila mm -hmm. Ila Masjid al and and uh, That one isn't challenging to us. <laughs> <laughs> Le Le So that one is even even difficult for us. So here, Adhabu ila al masjidi al masjidi, and the lamb of the next word is silent because it's it's shamsia, right? Ila masjidin ila masjidin ila masjidin nabawi. Ila masjidin nabawi. So that so the the letter connect the, the letters connect. So ila masjidin nabawi. Ila masjidin nabawi. Okay. Ila masjid. Say, let's say it together once. Ila masjidin nabawi. 
Masjidin Nabawi. Masjidin Nabawi. Masjidin Nabawi. Masjidin Nabawi. Masjidin Nabawi. Masjidin Nabawi. Masjidin Nabawi. Okay. So we hold the, the noon. Why? Why do we hold the noon? There's a shadda. Very good. So there's two noons. Right? You can, if you say and mess, uh, if you stop at it, then you, the kasra doesn't sound. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, adhabu ila al masjid. And you have to pause a little bit. Adhabu ila al masjid. An nabawi. I did that song. An nabawi. Also, but the, the other way is adhabu ila al masjid. Okay, the next. So now. Masjidi, 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 Al Asr. 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 Al Okay, good. Next, uh, next, inshallah. What's this? Uh, that's more. Inna ayna tas abu and abu in the masjid Aisha. Limaza, Limusali, and Aisha. Good. Rapam Sita. Brother Bilal, Sister Sayyida, Sister uh, Sister Anila, Rakam Sita, number six. Total, you're number one, Brother Bilal. Brother Bill, I'm changing it, right? <laughs> Not by force, this is mistaken, okay? Okay. Okay, good. So this is good. So he, so now well in the on that page one twenty three, if we want to uh, extract what did we do of grammar, right? We we added the lamb to the fal mudariya. We added the lamb to the fal mudariya. That's one thing, right? So here, I'm gonna just mark it so you can, you describe it in your own uh, book. 
So let's look from number one. إلى أين إلى أين تذهب؟ Okay. Um, now if we see here, we have إلى right? But أين is a question, right? And the أين the أين like you know like the nouns they change, right? If a noun is preceded by harf jar, right? By like for example, baby. Fi beiti, right? Fi beiti, fi beiti. Here also, ila, ila al masjidi, ila al masjidi, right? Ila, okay. But here, ila is before aina, right? And aina from the hal man ma madha kama tagayfa, aina li madha, aina, all of these adawat al istifham. All of these uh, tools of questions, right? For 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 starting a question, they are mabniyun mabniyun, meaning that it never changes the vowels, right? Mabniyun like dahaba, dahaba fal madi by itself, it, it never changes the vowel unless you add another like dahab to, unless you add. Uh, Adamir after it. But here, Aina is Mabni, uh, Aina is Mabni, right? Adawat al Adawat al Istifham, Aina, Adawat al Istifham, Mabni, wa alama tu binaihi al Fatha. That is the way you break it down grammatically, that, that word, that Aina, right? So, Ila, Aina, okay, so Ila towards where, right? Aina. So that Aina falls into the into the category of Jumla, right? Jaru Majur. So the sentence is Jaru Majur, but you don't see the changes, right? That the, 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 the anything coming after Ila changes into Kasra. So there's there's exceptions. So if I if I ask like when does the word followed by ila, when doesn't it change into kasra? Whenever there or whenever there is anything that is mebni, anything that doesn't change, like lam doesn't change. Anything that, that, that is mebni that doesn't change grammatically, like kitabun. If you put fi fi kitabin, right? Right, kit ala kitabi, right? It changes. Nouns change. Verbs fail al mudare. What is the what what is the the asl the origin of the fail mudare? What is the origin of the present tense verb? What is the vowel at the end? Present tense verb fail al mudare. Good. Like for example, like how do you say you go? Like, uh, or, or you you're going to the masjid. Adhabu, right? So dhamma. So the origin and see the grammar, Arabic grammar focuses on what? On the last vowel. That's it. <laughs> That's the most important thing, right? Where the word is in the sentence. And then it changes the vowel. Or what precedes it or what's after it changes the vowel. That's that's what it's mostly about. Right? And then the, the other sign sarf, right? Sarf nahu tarakib and nahawiya, grammatical composition. That's what it's focusing on. And then sarf, another science, deals with the origin of the root words. What is the root word of this word? And, and what are all the different meanings that branch out of it? So that's what Sarf focuses focus on. So here, so the Fal al Mudare always has Dhamma. When is the exception? How, how about if I say, you will never go to the masjid? What does that, well, how do you say that in Arabic? 
Lam. Okay. So how does the vowel change at the end? Sukun. 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 Lam tadhab ila masjid. Lam tadhab sukun. Why lam is before? How about I say lan? Like there's a possibility that you're not going to go to the masjid. Lan tadhaba. Lan tadhaba ila al masjid. Lam tadhab ila al masjid. Sa adhabu ila al masjid. See how that the changes? It's just what's before it. Okay? So let's proceed. So the next one is adhabu. See, adhabu is there. Ila, ila, again, ila is there. So now you look at this. So here is ila in the beginning, and here is ila also. All right? Okay, so here is ila, right? Let me just show you so you can. Ila, ila, aina, tadhabu. Tadhabu, okay? Ila, aina, tadhabu. Okay? And then adhabu. Adhabu ila. Al masjid. Al D. There you go. So here, Masjidi, here, Aina. Okay? Now, there is two words that are going to help you in the future. Okay? Two words. Two words. One is Two words. Mu'arab, Mu'araba, Nabniya. Okay? So here. So here the that which changes at the end. So this is Ism, Ismu, Ismu. Always changes, right? Ismu. Or you could put like this one. Ismu. The noun changes, like masjid. Example, masjid. Masjid. Originally is masjidun, right? If it doesn't have alif or lam, is masjidun. If it has alif or lam, is mas al masjidu. Okay. So al masjidu. That's the by itself. If it's preceded by fi, then you change this to fil, fil masjidi, right? Ra'aytu, ra'aytu al-Muslimun, ra'a, let me see, uh, It's not coming, it's okay, it'll come later. <laughs> That's those times. So the ism is mu'arab. The ism is mu'arab, it changes. All right, the ism changes. It could be ism majroor, be kasra, marfu'a, be damma, or mansub if it's in the position of, when is it mansub? What position is it? Is it fa'al, fa'al, or maful bihi? Right? Fa'al, fa'al ma'fool bihi. Right? Kataba Muhammadun ad-darsa. Kataba fa'al al-maadi. Right? Fa'al al-maadi. Kataba Kataba Fa'al al-maadi. Mabni, it doesn't change. Kataba darasa. Right? Kataba Muhammadun Muhammadun 
محمد مرفوع اسم الدرس الدرس is uh, is uh, مفعول به so مفعول به here الدرس الدرس so now I ask why is it الدرس if you, if you have a word why is it الدرس because it's مفعول به right if somebody sees it now and says, why is it that I should be a darsu? They don't know what we're talking about. Right? Right? But what I'm saying is, if it's Kataba Muhammadun ad darsa. Okay, so Mu'arab. Mu'araba is that which changes, right? So that's how we say, for example, an Arab. What is the grammatical uh, uh, breakdown of it? Iraq. For example, Kataba Muhammadun ad darsa. Kataba. Fa'alun madi. Just the word Kataba. Just listen carefully. Just as, a, as, a, as, a, as a, an, an example. Don't write. I don't want you just to listen. Right? Just don't, don't, don't worry. Don't write, inshallah. It's recorded. Right. Kataba, what is Kataba? Kataba Muhammadun ad darsa that's the sentence. Kataba, fa'alul madi, past tense verb. Right, fa'alul madi, okay. What is the grammatical position of fa'alul madi? Mabni, right, doesn't change. Mabni, wa alamatu binaihi, and the sign that I know. That it, it doesn't change the, the sign, al fatha. That's, that's how you describe that kataba. Kataba, fa'alul madi. Is it an ism, harf, or fa'al? Fa'al. Fa'alul madi, mabniyun, wa alamatu binaihi al fatha. There's something else missing. Can you see the fatha or no? You can see it. Al Fathatu Dahira is a, 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 a fatha that you can see. Sometimes there is a vowel that, you, that is not written. Right? So you say Ghayr Dahira. Here, Al Fatha Dahira. Darasa, Fatha Dahira. Okay. So this is just Kataba. Muhammadun, he's the one that writes. So he is the Fa'il. Fa'il. Not Fa'il. Fa'il. There's an Alif. Fa'il is the one doing the action, is the doer. Fa'il. Muhammadun. Fa'il. Fa'ilun. Fa'il. Fa'ilun. Marfu'a. Wa alamatu. Rafi'ihi. Ad-dammatu al-dahira. Muhammad. He's the, the fa'il, the one doing the action. And it's marfu'a because it has dhamma, right? And the sign that and the sign that it is marfu'a is the dhamma that is apparent, that is zahir. Wa alamatu rafahi ad-dhammatu zahira. Okay? No, no, Katab, if you wrote it, where would we see it? Hmm? For Muhammad, yeah. Katabu Muhammad. Oh, no. oh, you want me to write it? I can write it. Hey. <laughs> so we can break it. Down. It will take it will take the whole board, but inshallah we'll break it down. So sometimes in exams you will have a hundred sentences, right? And they will be like this: one sentence. Muhammad. Kataba Muhammadun Adarsa. So they will, will go like this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Kataba. Okay, Kataba. Sa'adun. Madi Mabni Wa Alamatu Binah 
Okay, that's one. Okay, Fadun Fadun Madi Mabni Wa Alamatu Bina Ihi Al Fathatu Zahira. Jay, that's one word. So imagine a hundred sentences like this, right? And this is the teachers won't accept it other than this way. Like, if you want to break down a sentence correctly, that's the way it is. It has to be precise. Because, okay, so here, Muhammadun. I said Muhammadun. Muhammadun, okay. Muhammadun, I changed the color so it won't be all. Muhammadun. Fa'ilun. Fa Fa'ilun. Muhammadun fa'ilun marfu marfu wa alamati wa alamati raf'ihi raf'ihi Adamatu Adamatu Adahira. Okay. Marfuwa Alamatu Rafaihi Adamatu. Why why did I put Rafaihi? Right? Because an alamatu rafahi, this goes connect to rafahi. So that's why it's kasra. Okay, alamatu rafahi. Alamatu rafahi. The, the, the sign of rising it up. Right? With dhamma, it means rising it up. Ad dhamma to And And is that the, the dhamma at the end of Muhammad? Instead of Muhammad, you say Muhammadun. Muhammadun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So th that's what you meant. Yeah, any dhamma, yeah, any dhamma, so this here. So we're, we're focusing on this section, <laughs> like I said. All of that just for this, right? <laughs> all, all of this just, just for that. Telling you that there's a fatha and a dhamma and a kasra, that's it. That's what it's all about. Yes. Yeah, yeah, here. So here, binaihi, mabni. No, that means specified mabni. Mabni. Okay. So, no, no, you don't write it. No, because automatically the, the see the mabni never changes it, right? So that that's specified. A lot most of the nine nouns they change. So here, marfu, wa alamatu rafahi adama So you don't know, find. You, you can write it, but you don't typically don't write it. So then we have Al Maful B. So you have Ad Darsa. 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 Mafrul, Mafrul Bihi, Mafrul Bihi, Mansub, Mansub, Mansub is a Hasfat, Mansub Wa. Alamatu. What is the next word? Alamatu. 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 La la la. There's something else. Because look, look at this. Marfu. 
رافعه ماشي مبني وعلامة بنائه مبني بنائه مرفوع رافعه مفعول به منصوب وعلامة نص نص به نص به وعلامة نص به الفتحة فتحة ظاهرة ما الله زر الشيخ عبد الله أن يسيز the video إن شاء الله he'll see it on Facebook إن شاء الله that's my teacher right so he'll see it إن شاء الله he he gave me a hard time يعني when I can it was beneficial that's مفعول به right so this one is فعل فاعل مفعول به that's a simple terminology grammatical description what is it فاعل verb مفعول فاعل the person doing the action مفعول به is what is being done right is all same root word فعل 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 same root word okay now now what kind of verb ماضي Right, Mahdi, what kind of verb that comes to mind next? What kind of verb? Is it Amr? Is it Mudariya? Is it Mahdi? Okay, and then after that, okay, now grammatically, does it change? Does this verb change? Doesn't it change? Right? This one is Mabni, right? And what, how do I know? What's the Alama? Right? Wa Alama to Binaihi Al Fatatu Okay, Muhammad Fa'il, Fa'il, Muhammad, he's the, the one doing the action, right? And the position of it, Fa'il is diamond marfu'a. The Fa'il is always marfu'a. And, what, and, what, and what's the alama of the Fa'il? Alama to raf'ihi al-dhamma to al-zahira. Okay, al-darsa. مفعول مفعول به What is the grammatical position? منصوب right? What is منصوب? So منصوب I will, I will write the names I will write those terms now inshallah منصوب وعلامة النص به الفتحة الظاهرة I'm going to write it here I'm going to write it here the terms I don't want to erase it and then so you can put it together. So you have mod four, right? And the ala I'm gonna put alama here, okay? I'm gonna put that here, alama, right? What are the sign, right? So mod four, the alama is Dhamma. Okay? Mansub. Mansub. The alamatu is. Mashim. Majroor. The alama to is, I'm going to do a line here, right, this is a line, this is a line. Majroor wa alama to hi, alama to, hulk al-kasra, majroor, marfu, mansu, majroor, and marfu, and also you have mabniyun. Mabniyun. So here, Mabniyun doesn't change. There's many different things. Like, for example, like Mabniyun, like Fa'al um, al-Mahdi, that's one. Lam, 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 Mim, Sukun. Lam doesn't change. So Lam, right? What is Lam? Adawat al-Jazm. Right? Adawat al jazm mabniyu wa alamatu binaihi as sukun. 
الظاهر اوكي سو ذا لام دازنت تشينج في حرف الجر مبني وعلامة جره الكسرة غير ظاهرة You don't see the kasra in fi because there's a yeah fi you don't have to write the you don't have to write it fi okay ala harf jar what is ala harf jar like fi ala harf jar mabni wa alamatu jarrihi al fatha ghayr zahira because there's a Alif Maksura, there's a broken Alif, Ala, etc. Ba for Bil Kitab, Ba, Harfajar, Mabni, wa Alamatu Binaihi, Al Kasra, Bahira. Okay, so these are all the Hada the Huruf, the Adawata list of Ham, the Hal, Man, Ma, Ma, they're all Mabni. Hada Mabni. ذلك مبني. Is that is that Fatha for the second line or is that? Uh... No, no, I'll do it. For, I'll fix it for you. Does it forgive? Forgive me, okay? There we go. I'm done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is so uh, the this is the description, right? And this is the alama. Okay, clear. I just wanted to. Give a little uh, introduction because this is what we're learning. Marfu is Dhamma here. Yeah. So are these three, there is no exception? Marfu is always Dhamma, Marfu yeah. is always Fata, and Majroon is always. No, there is exception. If, if, there, if it's dual and if it's, uh, if it, see, this is if it's singular, yeah. right? If it's dual, and it's plural, then it changes, right? For example, Al Muslimun, right? <laughs> Al Musliman, right? That's that's another book. <laughs> We're doing singular things now, you know. Once we get to Mustawa and Ash, no. Inshallah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Majzum, yes, you add also. So here the difference, Majzum. You, you add it. So here, for example, lam, lam, harf jaz, right? Mabniya, wa alamatu binahi is sukun, okay? And then you have al fa'al, lam yadhab, fa'al, fa'al al mudari, majzum, majzum, wa alamatu jazmihi as sukun. So you break down everything together. So it's because of the lamp. Okay? So that's Tarakib al Nahawiyah. Remember the, the saying, right? Al Nahu La. Al Nahu, we mentioned there was a phrase, right? Al Nahu Liddhul Saba. It's difficult. Right? And it's easy to arrive at it, inshallah. But with practice, it will come. It will come, inshallah. Once you have to put all this puzzle together, it will come. Okay. <laughs> Limada, let's go to 124, inshallah. So Musafirun, Musafirun, it's, what is it? Yes, but Musafirun, that land. Musafirun, I want to get the particular ter terminology. One second. Musafirun. It's, it's, not, a, it's, it's not a verb. It's, I believe it's a mustard. It's not fa'il. Yeah, I think it's a mustard taking the position of a verb. Musafirun, like why are you going to it? But let me just double check the, the specific description.
So adna aqsa, closest, furthest. Okay, opposite. So just a little playing with words, yeah. Geography, ge ge geographical uh, lesson. Okay. Tabadil al Hawar, okay, you are headed down, one of the Janemeka, the Kilton Toy Banking. Jay. So what we're going to change is the the noun da fell al amr da fell al amr is a command verb da right da al munabbih bi janibika hadhihi hadhihi fikratun tayyiba hadhihi fikratun tayyiba so the word fikra is is feminine fikratun tayyiba so because fikratun is feminine we put hadihi hadihi fikratun tayyiba and that's either also the adjective is feminine too tayyibatun you could say tayyib hada asirun tayyib this is a good juice right tayyib but fik when it's so it if it's feminine everything becomes feminine هذه فكرة طيبة. Okay. So رقم واحد واثنين. Sister Vanessa and Sister Shanaz. المنبه. بجانبك. Oh yeah, بجانبك. To say it again. Bija Nibik Nick J. Take it, take it, it's a lot of letters. <laughs> J. Bija Nibik. Good. Father is a Shana. Jade, so the when you stop at it, so the, the, the tune doesn't sound. So you will say Tayyibah. Tayyibah. So that that ta marbuta takes the hukum, the ruling, right? Ruling here is not in halal haram. Ruling is the ruling of sound. Ta'khud al hukum, al hukum, like the ha, the ruling of the ha. So for example, Allah. Right, ha, tayyibah, tayyibah, ha, tayyibah. If you continue, tayyibatun. If, the, if you continue with another word after, okay? So the word tayyibah, okay? Like al qari'ah, mal qari'ah, wa ma adraka mal qari'ah. So there's a little ha. Ha, like ha. Okay. So read it again, Sister Shanaz. Hadi. Tayyiba. Jay. Good. Okay, the next word. The next word. So let me have Rakum Wahid with Nain, Brother Amshad, and Brother Tariq. La, look at the picture. Pick the picture. Da. Da. Quran. Da. 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 So even if it's feminine, like you said, Da al Quran bi janibik, 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 because you're stopping at it. But if you want to write it, bi janibika wa janibiki, janibika wa janibiki. But if you stop at it, janibik, janibik. Okay, because the vowel is silent. On the. I, I'm thinking sukun, da. 
Ja, da. Actually, actually, we did that before. We we did we did talk about that before. Yeah, yeah and then that's that's correct. That's correct. Iltiqa is sakinain. That's correct. Thank you. That's very. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a grammatic. No, no. That's a very good point because there is a. We did that in in the previous pages recently with a verb that have. Let me just. I'll go back to it. I'll go back to it on the book. I won't change it. <laughs> no, just not so you can mark it so you can know that 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 you can see that rule, inshallah. Here on page one oh two. Right? So there's a person named two burgers. Halal, Sabiha. You got one or two? Everybody got one or two? Huh? Yeah, yeah. So look at look what it says. La ta kuli ta'am. See that? La ta kuli ta kuli. Right? La ta kuli ta'am. This is marfu, right? La ta ta kuli ta kulu. Right, but here it has kasra because of that. Because after the after the lamb, right, the alif has sukun. So whenever there's two sukuns, that's the rule. Whenever there's two sukun, the letter that's before, you put a kasra to make it easy to read. La ta ta'am. Okay? So that's a very very good point. So here da'i da'il munabbih. Because now there's two sukuns. So if there's sukuns, how would you start? If there's two sukuns, how would you start? Right? So you put a kasra, da'il, da'il, so you can go to the lamb. Da'il munabbe. Otherwise, it would have been da'u al da, da, uh, But you can't start because the alif doesn't have a fatsa kasra damba. The first alif is an is a, is a alif that has sukun. Right, it's the Alif Al Munabbe. Do I need to write it to see it? It's clear. I can write it. I don't mind. I don't have markers. Where are the markers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just so you can see it, visualize it, okay? So here, the. The verb by itself is like this, da, put place, da, place, da, okay? Now here, look. Now there's a sukun here too. All right, how do you start? Right, so you take this this dhamma uktub. Okay, there's no hamza because if you put a hamza it becomes a fail mudare. Right, this is a this is a command verb. Uktub. Infra. Right. Okay, lift. So here, da. Da. Al Kitab, Oktob, Al Dars, Al Fa, Al Qalam. And Dars, October Dars, October Dars, and the Al Kitaba, Al Fan Kalama, 
Why? Why? This is because it's my food. Just giving you, right? Because the da means anta. Da anta al kitab, or anti al kitab, right? Da. So the, the 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 one that's supposed to be doing the action is not there, but it's indicative. Da anta al kitaba. Okay. So here, this is the rule. So here, this one has sukun, and this one has sukun. Okay. So this is whenever there is two sukuns, the one of the, in the verb, you put a kasra. Makes it easy to read. Irfa'il, irfa'il, and then and then the way it goes, it, it connects with this, with the lamb. Okay? It connects with the lamb. Da'il kitab, da'il kitab, uktubid dars. That's here this lamp because it's Shamsia is silent, so it connects with the it connects with the dal. Right? Good. So thank you for, for pointing that out. So Okay, the next one, who's next? Yes, yes, we do like it, طيبة جيد هذه فكرة طيبة جيد good the next one next one good one and two إن شاء الله Okay, uh, let me. There is a. You see here? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. No, no. You hear here? Whenever there is a, there is a yeah, right? Then the ha there has a kasra. Okay? Right? So it's sahifa. Sahifa. Okay? Okay. Say it again. Die. And we can change it too. We can add, we can, we can like raise the bar a little bit, right? If sisters are doing it, is that you change the cat to key. Okay? Let's change it. Right, let's try to make it a little bit better, okay, for everybody. Right, so now sisters are saying it. So instead of cat, they have to say key. Okay, finally, do it again, sister. Die. Sahifata. Be Jani be key key because now key you're talking to her okay. right okay Jani be key okay so good if I don't know Jay next uh, next who was next uh, Uthman and Irfan Bismillah Jay. Jay, good. Next, they skip it. Uh, Bill, we'll do it together. But the fact you have it before, I was like, man, I, I should have picked that. <laughs> I should have said, Bill, can you do the fact you have one? Right, those are the you almost, know, almost close. Almost close. It's like there. Ah, oh, subhanallah. Okay, so I would, 
Uh, you do the, the, the first one and, I, and I'll do the second one, inshallah. Okay, do it again. Da'in. Okay, is it is it is it al? Does it have, does the does the first letter after the lamb has a shadda or no? No. It has a shadda, right? The shin. Okay. Right? Yes, right? So that means that the lamb is silent. Right. So da'i, da'ish, da'ish, da'ish. No, 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 no. No, this is no, no Daesh here. Like Daesh is ISIS, right? No Daesh in Arabic is Daesh, right? That's, but yeah, it's ISIS, right? That's their name, right? So they don't say ISIS, Daesh, right? But here's Daesh. That's right there. We don't mean it that way, but yeah. Daesh. Daesh. Bijanibik. Hadihi Fikratun Tayyiba. Mashi? Okay, Father Lee, sister, that, that uh, who reach? This is the New Lens Society. Bayan Khatmatin Bijanibik. Hadihi Fikratun Tayyiba. Jay. Jay. Brother Samir. And brother Elias. Again, again, the 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 half of the kasra, the the kasra, the sabab, right? Focus on the kasra. It is da. Da. No, but 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 there's kasra, and the da da il da il. Remember? Because there's no there's no there's two sukuns connecting. So whenever there's two sukuns. The, the verb gets a kasra. Da'il, da'il. Da'il ma bijanibika. Again, fikra, fikra tun tayyiba. Jay. Boom, let me know. Father, this is Diana and sister Vanessa, the, the, last, the last picture. Da in the ra Good. Da. Okay. The the noon is Shamsia, right? So is how is it? Da in da in da in da in nawara da. Da'in al-dhara bijanibika or bijanibiki, bijanibiki, jay, jay, good. So we're going to, we, we did, in regards of the, uh, the book, we did go a little bit slower, but we did explain some very important uh, uh, points right the breaking down of the sentence and the description of let me ask you to conclude before the event right some grammatical questions because what we were reading what what were we reading well what is that section called at tarakib and right which means what grammatical composition okay good now what is like why did the fa'l al-amr, the commanding verb, why did this, the fa'l al-amr always has what at the end? What vowel? What vowel? Fa'l al-amr, sukun, right? Right, sukun. Da, iqra, right? Sukun, right? Limada qulna, why did we say da'i? Da'il kitab, place the book. Why do you put a kasra? Good. Iltiqa is sakinain, that when two sukuns meet, right? There's a da, da sukun, right? Al kitab, but iltiqa is sakinain, you put the, the, the kasra in the fa'l al amr. Right? Da'il, 
Kitab. Okay. And what what is marfu? What is the alama to marfu? What is the symbol of marfu? Dhamma. What is the what is the symbol of mansub? Fatha. What is the symbol of majroor? Kasra. Very good. Fal al mudari is always marfu, right? Marfu alama to rafi dhamma. Right? In the when when do we when does the fal mudari change that we put a sukun on it? Lam. Hmm? Harf al-jar is only for nouns. Lam. Lam al-jazm. Right? So the fa'al mudari majzum wa alamatu jazmihi as-sukun. Jazakallah khair. Thank you very much for the exercise. Appreciate it. May Allah swt accept and reward you for your patience and for your time and for the ink that you spent.